if we take a balloon and pop it with a lit match, we get an explosion. This is an example of a physical explosion. It's created when the air bursts through the walls of the balloon. Our next balloon is different. It's full of hydrogen, which is flammable. You'll see a larger explosion and also a different type of explosion. Burning hydrogen creates a chemical explosion. A much larger blast is created when we unleash the power of an atom in a nuclear explosion. But even the largest nuclear blast here on Earth is tiny when compared with the nuclear explosions inside stars like our Sun. And these explosions are what makes stars a kind of nuclear factory where nature makes the elements that we find here on Earth and in all parts of the universe. Most of the matter in the universe is hydrogen, the simplest of elements. In fact, about 90% of our universe is made up of hydrogen. This element was formed in the Big Bang explosion. Inside stars, hydrogen is fused together to form the next most abundant element, helium. This lightweight gas that fills parade balloons is being made in stars like our sun. In fact, about 400 million tons of hydrogen are converted into helium each second by our sun. This fusion process releases lots of energy, which we see and feel as the warmth and light of our sun. We can tell what elements are being formed inside of stars by looking at the different type of light that we receive. Each different element produces its own unique characteristic light. Here I have a glass tube filled with hydrogen. When we electrify this hydrogen, you'll see that it produces this beautiful magenta color. This color of light is unique to hydrogen. If we replace this with the second tube, we have here a tube filled with mercury. Mercury vapor produces this beautiful blue color when it's energized. That blue is unique to mercury. No other element produces that same color. This last tube is one that you're perhaps familiar with. This is neon. When neon is electrified, it produces this beautiful orange color that you're familiar with in signs around town. The other 90 or so elements are also manufactured by stars. Big stars make big elements like iron, silicon, and such. Smaller stars make smaller elements like carbon. When a big star dies, the explosion that forms, called the supernova, produces elements beyond iron. So stars are the factories nature uses to convert one element into another. We are each connected to the universe in this way. Our bodies are actually made up of the elements that formed inside stars in the past.